course that went off. That's why you got called up for it. Let me give you a little wrap just for good news. That's just, did that ring a bell? Anybody ring a bell? When Mr. O'Bonner is first showing up there in first grade, was it Sister Helen? Can you remember back that far? Sister Mary Helen. And she was a lovely lady. And right away she knew he was a responsible young lad because the first thing he wanted to do was he wanted to offer to, to, to go ahead and do the collection for the mission babies. Have you ever done the collection for the mission babies? Somebody had to pick up the pennies and the dimes in the little box. So John Francis volunteered for that right away. And, and Sister Helen knew immediately he was going to be a responsible man in the future with a lot of integrity. Well, that was fine, so he did that for a couple of years. He came back in third grade, and he showed up with those little paper sleeves that you wrap coins in. And he went to his third grade nun, who was probably Sister Alexander. Sister Alexander. He said, Sister, he said, Sister, I'm getting tired of counting all these pennies. Let's use these little cash rollers, and then I can keep track of this better. And then he told her, he says, you know, Sister, when I hand them over to you, I'd like to have you give me a receipt. I'm a little taken back with that. What's up with this young man? He's really responsible. But she, he continued to be in charge of his class of mission based collection year after year. He came back in fifth grade, and wouldn't you know it, about the third week of school, he came up to Sister, and that would probably go, This is fifth grade. This is Sister Patrick, and he says, Sister, he said, I think I can make a little extra money for the mission babies if you'll let me take half the collection and set it aside, and I'll start making loans to my class. <laughs> Jack's already, he's already multiplied the collection for the mission babies. And by that time, his kind of word around school is that this is the finance man. <laughs> and he's taking the collection now, and it's skyrocketing, so we're all tickled. <laughs> and then he comes back in seventh grade, and I think in seventh grade, he, um, at that point, what did he want to do? Let me think. I, my mind's failing me a little bit, but anyhow, you had something up your sleeve. Let me check the evidence here. I got it written down. <laughs> I know what it was. In seventh grade, he shows up and he's carrying this great big cardboard box full of printed calendars with his name printed on it, as if he was the mission baby expert. So we decided right then and there, all of us did at the convent, that this was a young man had a future in banking. And so, as you know, he is a very successful former retired banker now, and it all began in first grade with the mission babies. So, thanks to you, Jeff. And just a 